Gene Medica General Memo Rakesh Chandreskar March 16, 2015 The cursory observations from Kyle Arlington's field reports and preliminary data suggest we might be on the right track. I had the bulk of the samples collected by the expedition sent for sequencing and analysis. Apdine is waiting for our results before they can proceed with their own work if they're amplifiers and transceivers, but the merger is slowing everything down on their end. The portion of samples that were sent directly to the test labs are showing promise. The fail points of MR1 through MR331 aren't an issue with MR332. Transmittability among mammals via spore bursts and secondary pathways is still lower than our target, however. Gene Medica General Memo Rakesh and Dreskar. March 17, 2015 I talked Rakesh Petal from Apdine into loaning us one of their new transceivers. It'll be set up by tomorrow, which is perfect because the sequencing and analysis of MR332 will be available tomorrow morning. The overnight guys in Lab 4 had a small breakthrough when it was discovered that MR332 had a 100% transmission rate when applied to flies. Tissue degradation is still the main concern, however, as it decreases the secondary transmission radius. Fly mortality was 96% within the first hour and 100% by the third. Gene Medica General Memo, Rakesh Chandreskar, March 20th, 2015. Our researchers have been unable to successfully bind MR332 zygospores to Apdine's most recent Respiracite iteration. Apdine is unwilling to provide us with the full design specifications, claiming they will only be made available once Gene Medica and Apdine merger is complete. This is a major setback as the bulk of our models were built on the assumption of a successful zygospore respirocyte synthesis. That said, the respirocytes are still sensitive to on-off broadcasts made by the Apdine transceiver I secured from Rakesh Petal. Mice exposed to the pure retrocytes were able to exert themselves approximately 4,000% above baseline. Structural damage to legs and feet was within expected levels. This percentage will need to increase exponentially to meet the modeled goal. Gene Medica, General Memo, Rakesh Chandreskar, March 23, 2015. There have been suggestions that the failure of zygospore and retrocyte synthesis can be mitigated by our hemoengineering technologies. While I understand the thought process behind the suggestion, I'm uncertain about its overall feasibility. It would require significant, stealthy acquisitions of hospitals, blood banks, and other medical facilities using capital beyond what Gene Medica has available. I'll suggest looking into this again after the merger, but considering the cost and the enormous risk involved, I'm not increasing our hemoengineering budget. We will continue working on the synthesis. Gene Medica General Memo, Rakesh Chandreskar, March 24, 2015. Aptine sent us their preliminary results on our model-based zygospore receptite synthesis and the model's receptivity to early PHZ transceiver signal models. As predicted, respirocytes embedded within the spores will take complex commands while inside a host. This would be a big relief to me if we weren't just talking about models that still aren't reflecting reality. Confidential. Gene Medica. Emergency Memo. Confidential. 11A. Access Only. Confidential. Rakesh Chandreskar. Confidential. March 25th, 2015. Uh, Dr. Aaron McConnell, deceased. Dr. Arthur Kane, deceased. Dr. Abbasi Ndoga, deceased. Dr. Lee Chen, deceased. Dr. Annette Cheng, alive. I've ordered the immediate shutdown of Lab 4 located in Sub-Basement 3 and the interview and indefinite quarantine of the survivor. DVR footage shows Dr. Lee Chen surreptitiously emptying a vial of zygospores onto the floor of the sample lab. The sample lab does not require a clean suit for entry. Dr. McConnell, Crane, Nadoga, and Chen began showing symptoms within minutes. Dr. Crane was able to sound the alarm and initiate a lockdown before being overcome. Dr. Chen returned from the restroom immediately following the lockdown and was able to view the zygospore's effects upon Dr. McConnell, Crane, Nadoga, and Chen from the lab window. DVR footage showed zygospore's effects on the doctors were in line with the field observations of Kyle Arlington albeit far faster due to the artificially concentrated zygospores used for testing purposes. A note was found in Dr. Chen's locker which read, 
we will be the first ones to travel. I've ordered Sub-Basement 3 to be incinerated following the collection of samples from the flesh of the deceased. Labs 1 through 3 and 5 through 28 will be unaffected, and researchers will be kept unaware of the event. This setback is not expected to affect the Gene Medica Apdine merger, although the loss of zygospore samples as well as four doctors will hinder the progress towards zygospore respiracite synthesis. Apdine is being notified of the incident.